lot of stuff going on here, Pat. I'm telling you. Where's the domestic on Maryland, you know? Oh, 169 man. West. That's our favorite our favorite call. Sure right is. Right here. Remember? Yep. <laughs> What's going on? What's the nature of the Boy, car? Please don't be the same car. Oh, it's the same. It's going to be the same people. Oh, for crying out loud. That one right ahead of me? That car, yeah. Okay. All right, here we go. We've been to this call a few times. Hey, 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 There they are. Where? Right there. Where? Right there. Let's just uh, throw the keys out, will you? What's the address here? Just north of Orange, I think. What? What, what about on Rice Stay Street? In the car. Domestic 169 Maryland, and of course, as you know, it's always a mess. People flagged us down and had us follow a car. It's uh, we're north of there, about two blocks in an alley over by Rice Street. Copy. 220, it's two blocks north and in the alley west of Rice. North of Maryland. Yeah, it's about 1323 Rice in the alley behind there. Uh, Atwater Rice. Copy, 2328. Is this a car that's uh, West of Central Chicago? Uh, negative. We we cleared that Sylvan in Maryland. St. Paul was handling. We went to the 169 Maryland domestic. And uh, the people there flagged us down and had us chase this car, follow the car. 
But this is an ongoing problem at the house, but we just thought out another car to stand by just to sort out what the problem is. And 1323 Rice in the alley. Alley, 1323 race at 2329. Has that call been dispatched at 169? Confirmative, we have spots on scene. Just tell them the car that left there, we have three of the occupants. The fourth one ran from us on foot, but I don't know if there's a crime or not. 210. We're here and here it uh, looks like a possible domestic with the victim and the suspect in your vehicle up there. Yeah, we have a female here, but she's not indicating. Well, I see a squad coming up late. This sort of not when you get here. What's your location? Alley, west side of Rice, 1323 in the alley. Roll clear. 823. 823, if you are clear. 837, affirmative. We've got one in custody, 404. Have you want to test the vehicle for 2230? 2 do we have any uh, acres on the pulse at all? If so, I'm... 5104. In 2400, the car we are out on is 793 Lima Uniform Mike. 793 Lima Uniform Mike. Heavy
I'm seeing for the DOC, let's get one. Can we just go to 11, can you start until I score for? Do you want 11, Kellogg, Kellogg, Fairbanks, and then they're refusing to leave? 211's a scratch, but I'm with 220, we'll go. Kathy, thank you. 2338. So you know, you're, I'm here with your what? 
Yeah, well, if you're with Sean, I mean, they're claiming that AJ was driving, and AJ is an asshole, you know. But AJ usually, AJ usually is the passenger. <laughs> Well, I thought he was the driver too, but they. Traffic code four is one at twenty-two thirty-nine. Five three seven eight. I see you, Elmo. Car is guilty of unauthorized use. Coming at twenty-two thirty-nine. I'm fine with that, but I just want to make sure John's fine with it. He's got to. He's got to take care of what you see. Five three two. I'll be transferring it to Elmo at seventeen thirty-seven, Thomas. Yeah, well, we're not going to do that because we're going to see here. Yeah, when we came down, he was standing right by the car. He had just gotten out. So you didn't see anybody run either. He just claimed this. I'm all but certain he wasn't.
to see you guys always. I'm not going to say your name, but thank you to who sent the video. Well, you guys said you did not have a crime over there, right? That's what somebody can't take a look at. All right, it's in your hands. <laughs> we got stuff all over the car. Well, somebody drives terrible. <laughs> well, you drive well, Here just we don't have stuff secured very well. Okay. Oh, he sent me a couple good pictures. I don't doubt that he's a driver. Oh, I'm sure, I'm sure but, he was. But. But I, I, don't, I think somebody did flee, but I don't think it was the driver. Right. It was the passenger. But here's the thing. Well, well, this is just interesting. Yeah. Triple two. Triple two. I'm just back in the pending. Uh, Got to add comments here in a little bit. Fifteen to start us another CM. For our oh, we gonna make location it. right now. Recover property. I don't think we're gonna get out of here. He saw the traffic bus. the hell? You gang guys are awesome. Wow. They're awesome. Well, Did you hear the call at 7th and The guy got shot with an arrow? Yeah. yeah. Oh, by the way. Sorry. I by the way. That. Could you say it again, please? We're going to text you some information on the suspect. We got a homeless advocate that works I'm up not there. Sure I'm you can you, can you My send? Apologies. Can you you got that stuff from Amber? Yeah. Just send it to Sean. Yeah. Because uh, can you hook up hook it up with the right people? Yeah. Whoever's got that case, because she I knows who it is. Oh, at, no, actually, it's uh, a guy we met on the west side. One night. Well, whatever it is, yeah. send it to him. I'm gonna I'm gonna send it to you, Sean. make sure this is... What do you need us to do something? No, we gotta get this kid a ride home, but we need to clean it. Did so I... I can't be. Sean, see if I sent that to the right phone number. Swat Kempe. Swat Kempe, where are you? Is that your old man's leather jacket? Yeah. 
good man. Yeah, he's a good man. <laughs> my, my dad's leather jacket. You do? Damn right, I do. Yeah. Uh, hey, none of us have a cage. We get that. He's 14. Can you guys get a ride home, please? I'm an eagle team. Yeah, I got it, Pat. Okay. Yeah. That's that's uh, from a very reliable source. I'm Sergeant Robert and Paul Street. I'm a drunk driver. I'm a successor to cell phone Robert Street. Mail in a minivan. Delta Uniform Sierra 280. We're being all over the middle of the road. Thank you, Joe. 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 That's uh, Mark Jumpy's kid. Yeah, good kid. And he will be this person who gave us that information. Let me just say for they're, the they're available for the record and the administration. People are religiously wearing their masks here today. Mine broke. So I know. I, I saw it. I saw it. But I mean, it's I. I there can be no. I had a quick tie. It. No dispute about. It. I know. I saw you did that. That was pretty clever. That was a MacGyver tie. That was a MacGyver tie. <laughs> <laughs> How's everything else? Family good? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, my son is. Uh, he's a cadet with Maplewood Fire. He's, I think they're gonna hire a thin, So. Gonna go to the fire. You going to fire route? Fire EMS route, yeah. He'll never have as much fun as his grandpa did. <laughs> <laughs> I got my dad's leather jacket. I had my dad's original leather jacket. I wear it to this day. That's good. I'm not I'm not gonna give anything away by saying this, but the medallion has been found. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I love you guys. Thanks. Thanks. See ya. See ya. Thanks. Oh, we might be able to make it out here. Two ten. First ride at one four nine East. What do you think? Oh yeah. Beer is in. You got this. <laughs> you got this. How do I look over there? You're good. good. Oh, you're great. <laughs> well. So as you saw, we pulled up on that domestic. The people at the house pointed a car out, told us that was obviously involved in some way right so we ran up there took a right we took a right Three times on eight. they were gone it was gone it was down an alley we saw it down the alley so we went back around and when we got there we weren't 100 percent sure if the driver is out yes the guy we saw at the khakis was standing next to the door there's no dispute about that but the question is did somebody else drive the car? We didn't actually see him drive the car. And that's the reason that's important is the car turned it up being stolen. And in, it, there's no doubt that they all probably knew the car was stolen, but in Minnesota law, it's tough to charge the passengers unless you can prove it. So they're all technically in violation of unauthorized use of a motor vehicle, which means driving around in a stolen car. But the victims back here did say that I asked to the cops, there was four people in the car. Right. So one person ran, was probably the principal agitator from the other domestics we've been here to. Actually, that was the one. That's, this is the guy? Yeah. Amber. Uh, and we finally met Ember. A Ember, okay. <laughs> and the other guy was supposed to be AJ, but AJ was a kind of a jerk the last time we were down here too. Anyhow, we're, we're stolen cars recovered. This has been a, a, a night of big wins for law enforcement. Thing is, when we arrest people, we like that we like to be certain about what we saw, and we know in our hearts and 98% of our minds the khaki pants driver was a driver, but we've decided that we want to prove things beyond a reasonable doubt, and we're not quite ready to testify to that on that one so we're not going to actually arrest anybody but they'll all be identified the car will be told return to the owner and the people at the original domestic no longer wanted anything to do with the police assistance and uh, 
had nothing to say other than four people when were in the car. They wouldn't say who was driving. Yeah, that's a strange situation there. I hesitate to even go to the calls <laughs> because <laughs> it's always ends up being strange.